The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match and is for the Intercontinental Championship. The Lone Wolf about to pray on Monday Night Raw. Baron Corbin, a WWE superstar who does not care what you think, what you feel. Baron Corbin's only concern in this world is Baron Corbin. Introducing the challenger from Kansas City. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. The Lone Wolf is a man who doesn't seem to play well with others because he says others always have a problem with losing. Former Money in the Bank contract holder. Former United States champion, winner of an Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, the Lone Wolf. Here comes the Kingslayer! Seth freaking Rollins, the Kingslayer, the architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen this generation. And introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, Weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi time champion of Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of a shield with Reigns and Ambrose. Rollins thrives and is driven by people doubting him, by people saying that he can't do something. Rollins will do it just to silence them and smile in their face. TLC action underway here, guys. <laughs> Seth Rollins is in position. Yeah, right to the back of the neck. But he's got to capitalize now. Oh, man, Baron Corbin is in trouble now. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Better stay right where he is. Corey, you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. The match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. 
The WWE Championship dates back to 1963 in the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope, but Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both men struggled until the Apex Predator ripped Cena off the ladder, forcing him to land face first on a table. The Viper became immortalized when he grabbed both the store prizes and became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. Counter here. There's a big reversal by Seth Rollins. How good is Seth Rollins? He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Big elbow. There are two things to remember about Baron Corbin's end of days. One, the incredible display of raw power it takes to execute the maneuver. And two, Corbin doesn't care who he drops with. He's not going to like this. I don't think he should get up. The end of days is such an impressive finishing maneuver and delivers incredible impact. End of Days leaves its victims out cold on the canvas for a long, long time. The End of Days from Baron Corbin is just another way for the Lone Wolf to show his disdain for fellow WWE superstars. Corbin won't stop until there is no one left. Seth Rollins looks to have been well scouted, out architected. He has an amazing opportunity here to cement his legacy as one of the greatest champions in recent memory. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. If his opponent somehow wins this thing, you could likely go back to this moment as the turning point of the match. Seth Rollins is looking for something big here. But can he hit it, guys? Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. Seth Rollins just changed the momentum of this match. All right, listen up, morons. Especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as a TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys. The Hardy Boys and Edge and Christian. You got the tables for the Dudleys, the ladders for the Hardys, and the chairs for ENC. Oh, drop kick! Right on the money. Corey, you spoke about the TLC match. It is interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley Boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history between those three teams. Each duo put it all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. Baron Corbin doesn't care about the WWE rulebook, the officials, or how the WWE Universe perceives it. Corbin is a wrecking machine who will make sure anyone who stands in his way will feel the wrath of the Lone Wolf. And if he hits this, this one's over. Get right to the back of the neck. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship 
against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions, as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor that put Ambrose through a table. That wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions, as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor and put Ambrose through a table. It wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. Seth Rollins did it. Seth Rollins got a huge win. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, and still the Intercontinental Champion, Seth.